Welcome to Engine Power and a day Pat and I have been impatiently waiting on. We finally get to start the transformation of this mid-90s themed Pro Street 62 Nova into a modern day street terror we're naming Project Pro Street or No Street. Now here's a quick look at what this car is all about in its current state. Powering this manly machine is a 383 cubic inch small block Chevy. It has a forged bottom end, roller valve train, and dark 215cc aluminum cylinder heads. A lot of hardware is changing on this car, and for good reason. We want a car that handles better, has way more power, and to make a statement on the eyes, has a more aggressive stance. Now, we have all of that covered, and you'll see it as this build progresses, but before we tear it down, she deserves a final voyage, so let's roll. horsepower in this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm ready to start on it. The final voyage is over and the transformation to a new era Pro Streeter has to start somewhere. 588 inches of big block cheviness needs big headers to breathe. And we also need a set that will work with our aftermarket front clip as well. And that all happened with one easy call to Lemons Headers in Paso Robles, California. And all we had to do was tell them the engine size, the cylinder head type, and the brand of chassis to get what we needed. These are big and beautiful. Two and a quarter inch pipes are welded to three eighths flanges. And these headers are designed for the best possible ground clearance, oil pan room, and spark plug access. A four inch collector attaches to the primaries and has a V band flange to run with the rest of the exhaust if you choose. They even come equipped with bungs and plugs for O2 sensors. They are offered bare or in a beautiful finish like this. Starting with the passenger side, we will install the tubes per Lemon's instructions. First, the number four tube will go in from the bottom. Second in the lineup is tube number two, also from the bottom. Next up is number six, which goes in from the top. Last on this side is tube eight. We can snug all the header bolts, but we will not tighten them yet. Underneath the car, the gorgeous collector is fitted to the primary tubes. We're, we're close. There we go. Now everything can be tightened. Just an FYI, the passenger side can be installed with the spark plugs and starter in place. Gaskets will go in when they show up. We'll see you in a few minutes. Next time you see this Nova, it's gonna be making noise. We're just as excited to see it as you guys are. But remember, patience is a virtue. We went ahead and put the front clip all back together, and with a few twists of the strut rods, it lined up really nice. Now it's time to see what 588 cubic inches of big block Chevy power sound like in the car. Now anytime we finished a project or an engine build, we get as excited as a woodpecker in a lumber yard to hear it fire. Let's go, Pat. Here we go. Is how's insane. That, how's that for a success oh, story? Oh man, <laughs> nice. that's the first time we hit the key on the actual engine. Oh, my God! Wow, that is unbelievable. That just that if that don't get your blood pumping, I, you, you don't like cars. <laughs> Na power, baby. Na, you know, uh, we, hey, nothing wrong with power adders, but uh, we like doing it the natural way. So that is so awesome. Nice job. Our 62 Nova has come a long way and now it is time for its maiden voyage and there is no better place to see it run than a drag strip. We're going to unleash 588 cubic inches of big block Chevy the proper way. The first shakedown pass should prove that all of our efforts have paid off big time. And it does, a 617 at 110, not too shabby.
After a cool down, it's time to lay down the hammer for a bigger run. And as expected, this big block beast lays down a 594 at 118 miles per hour. Hmm, I think I look good in black. Wow, what a solid build. You can see why our team is always up for a high performance challenge. And remember, you can always check out the other great projects that we have right here on Power Nation Builds.